Ring and thunder and lightning crumbling, buildings falling, hurricanes earth shattering, membranes. Hello everyone and welcome once again to the panel. Keeps plummeting. The stars fall and life is appalling and death is lurking niggas. A semi-regular roundup of fanboy opinions, courtesy of the Santa Fe Reporter and True Believers Comics and Gallery in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm Chris Diesler, manager of the Spine Establishment. With me today to talk about the Watchmen movie versus book, uh, the guy that used to do the job that I do now and did it quite well, if I remember correctly. Jet that's point. awfully terrible of me. For the while the devil is loving it and children in high school rolling through smoke and you refer to it as uh the watchman, but isn't it technically just watchman? <laughs> Cause that's what it says on everything. It's, it's, it's yeah, the, the the Latin phrase translates as who watches the watchman. So even though the book and the property and the movie and whatnot are just called Watchmen, I, I, I don't know. So are we actually talking Perhaps about... if Alan Moore, you know, would actually give an opinion on the subject, maybe we could ask him. All right. But okay. he ain't talking. No vision, doctors and lawyers. Rorschach. Spot on. And really, that's all I cared about. Um, if they if they only got one thing right in the movie, and I could argue that they did only get one thing right in the movie, it was Rorschach, and I'm happy about that. I was really happy that Rorschach was but ugly. We smile any death inside of my woman instead of college. They got a slang in after high school. That was the one thing that I was absolutely terrified of was that they would get some Hollywood pretty boy underneath the mask. When he took off his mask, it would just ruin the whole thing. But no, he looked like ass. It was beautiful. Sounded just like I always imagined Rorschach would sound. He sounded actually like I think they wish Batman would sound, but they could never quite pull it off. I'm gonna... No Harvey. No Harvey. No. Uh, 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 you don't get it. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. Uh. You kind of have to do it for Rorschach because he is almost the ultimate parody of all of those Batman gritty, tough, sort of imposing vigilante types. When it death is parking, niggas killing each other, leaving bodies, nobody searching for and juveniles as fools and trials catching. You wait, you go to the movies, you're in there, you see like 10 people dressed as Rorschach. <laughs> and I was like, who are you dressed as? And this guy goes and goes, Rorschach. <laughs> I was like, the sauce? And he, and he goes, no, the guy in the comic. And I, and I go point and show him to me, and he reads it, and I'm like, Rorschach, like the inkblot test. And I was, and he was like that. No, I don't think that's his name. <laughs> I saw the guy after the movie, and I was like, so what's his name? They're like, he, they got it wrong. The whole movie's, it's nothing like the graphic novel. <laughs> I was, I was so pissed off. I was like, okay, goodbye. The, the only ethical in their behavior characters are the comedian and Rorschach, and they're the filthiest, most disgusting. But you can count on them to be filthy and disgusting. They will always be exactly what they are. And everybody else is this gray area. Did they nail the comedian as well? Because I thought they did that pretty I well too. So, yeah. Um, and and I agree with Jet. They're they're both despicable human beings. And if I was to meet them in real life, it would be hard for me not to want to punch their lights out. But they are congruent in their moral ambivalence and I, uh, I applaud them for it. So, you know, Rorschach, in every way perfect, looked perfect, um, but you know, a lot of things about Watchmen, in my opinion, didn't look perfect. Uh, I was a little unhappy with the ridiculous Joel Schumacher Batman-y color palette that was just kind of like Disneyland on acid. I expect Watchmen to be dark, to look dark, because the subject matter is dark. You don't think the uh, funky-ass color scheme is just a trademark uh, dating back to the original source material? To me, it seems to, to represent what was what was on the page of the original, which was always kind of weird looking to me. It was a, it was not a naturalistic color scheme. But somebody else busted on this. Isn't my original thought, but 
Smiley face on Mars? I know it's in the book, but does that work when you put it in a motion picture? Does that make any sort of sense? Or does it just look silly and cheesy? Speaking of Joel Schumacher, how's that for a Schumacher? It just, it, it just seemed to me like the movie was over at that point. It just seemed like one of those moments like, you know, let's send them out with a smile. All right. Hey. But no. The movie kept going. It suffered from terminal return of the kingitis. It didn't know when to end. The ultimate question of the film is, did they make Watchmen into a movie, I guess, right? Did they succeed in adapting Watchmen? As an adaptation, I don't think it was entirely successful. Uh, as a movie, if I can forget every time I ever read Watchmen, I can enjoy the movie as a movie. But I will never enjoy that movie or any other Watchmen movie as much as the comic book, because the comic, the Watchmen comic is a singular example of how amazingly complex and only comic booky a comic book can be. It's, it is the medium that it represents. Oh, every inch of Watchmen uh, references everything that, that went into all the ideas that, that made comics up to the point when Watchmen was published, Watchmen manages to reference all, like every, every single dot on its page talks to what it is, what, what the medium's all about. It's, it's, it's so meta. <laughs> it's, um, it has been said that the only two original, legitimate American art forms are jazz and comic books. And I don't think anything proves it more than the Watchmen graphic novel. And no one will ever be able to make that into a movie. Which is hilarious, because it was made by a couple of Brits. <laughs> well, I want to thank Jet for coming in, and uh, we've had a lot of time to think about what we wanted to say about this. And I, I think we managed Too much to, time thinking I, about the Watchmen I think movie. we've managed to get what we need to say out there. And thanks for tuning in to the panel on the Santa Fe Reporters online channel. And thanks to Dave for doing this with us again. We'll catch you next time.